Welcome, assassins! Okay, so welcome to this week's vlog. Probably gonna have more than one vlog come out this week. Um, but this one is dedicated to answering uh, more fitness-related questions coming from uh, Chuck Norris. Uh, he usually does a good job of bringing up questions that I assume a couple people, if they don't, or if they're not actively curious about their, it might be like, oh, I wonder in their mind when they're watching the videos and they don't actually comment about it. But they're good questions, so I'm going to answer them uh, for everybody. Uh, he writes a lot, which is a great thing. Um, the the more words, the better. Always like that, but that just, I'm not going to read everything specifically because uh, I'm a terrible reader. Um, so I have summarized the questions. Hopefully these are the, the, the questions uh, that he wanted answered. And so let's get into it. Uh, uh, okay, so... First question that he asks is, um, it's hard to come up with a calisthenic routine because it's hard uh, to isolate body parts, meaning that uh, you do push-ups and you're not isolating the biceps when you're doing the push-ups. And uh, so it's harder to come up with more, a split uh, in that regard. I say, why do you need to isolate to begin with? What daily actions do you take that just utilize one body part? That's again another one of my, you know, reasons why I'm not too keen on the whole bodybuilding weightlifting aspect. But um, that just means that the more calisthenics that you do, that's sort of why I'm a huge fan of calisthenics. Is, is the more your body is working together. So when I do one-handed push-ups or pistol squats, which it, <laughs> pistol squats, which is just doing um, uh, lifting up one leg, going down on the ground, doing a squat with one leg, um, or you know, practicing one-handed pull-ups. Uh, I have, that's called, that. that is one set for me. This is nothing specific, but this is just a point I'm trying to prove, is that um, I call that uh, the Triforce. So I'll do a triple set of, of those. And at the end, what's hurting the most is my core. Um, that's, that's sort of an extreme example when you're using one uh, body part, you're exercising one body part with calisthenics. It's normally taking a huge toll on a bunch of other body parts as well because it takes more to balance yourself. So the point is, like I was <laughs> sorry, like I was saying, probably uh, uh, saying this point more than a few times, but um, with calisthenics comes um, more of a, 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 a conducive body strength, if that makes sense. So your muscles or sorry, your muscles, your bicep is better at helping you out with pull-ups. Your, um, your triceps are better at, um, you know, pushing, doing different kinds of uh, push-ups. And so it all works together much better instead of making one very specific muscle better at doing one very specific motion. So, um, Chuck, I will make another video at some point in the near future describing my calisthenic split. The only reason I haven't done it in the past is because it's kind of an extreme um, calisthenics split. Doing the video game fitness program uh, helped get me into calisthenics to begin with. Um, so I have kind of a, uh, an advantage on that. I didn't have a pure uh, calisthenic uh, routine prior to the video game fitness program. So I, don't, I can't really say like, this is uh, the routine that I did or this is the routine that works. So I'll, I'll say, I'll give uh, more on that. I'll make a one entire video dedicated. It'll be like the calisthenic equivalent to the video I made a few weeks ago. Um, and so the second one is, uh, did I make strength gains with the high volume? Because before I said when I was weightlifting, I would do a 30, 20, 10, 20, which hopefully I didn't, I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but that is a, a good baseline. Like that's the average. I would always try and switch up those numbers while still saying, staying high and having a balance of uh, doing, you know, low every now and then as well, um, but but never specifically low. So, um, in I'll say less noticeable strength gain, so it wasn't like, oh, I can do another, you know, 25 on each side of my bench this week as opposed to last week. It's more um, because I superset, um, I noticed more... Uh, uh, stamina gains and endurance so I could go from one exercise to the next a lot faster in the superset less rest time um, higher reps I don't really have um, experience gaining 
like I like I said, I never I never really bulked. You don't, in my opinion, you don't have to bulk. Diet is a huge, um, uh, is ginormous for for getting bigger. Obviously, bodybuilders, there's like a proven formula for bulking, but again, everybody's different. Sorry, this is uh, not really going towards the um, the uh, y your ultimate question, but I guess conceptually, we'll go. Um, I, it, it was never like a, I can do 315 or what was three, I think, yeah, 315 three times. Um, I was more the 225, fi, uh, uh, sorry, 315, uh, three times, like once I was more the, uh, 225, that's two plates on each side, right? Um, 15 time or fit for 15 reps, three to four times. So it was more like, for me, it was just being able to maintain, um, constant, uh, uh, energy production and, and, um, uh, and exercising, if that makes sense. I hope that answered your question. I am not entirely sure. Let me know. Um, so the third one is, uh, did the older team, uh, contribute to size or, and I kind of answered this a little bit in the other one, or did the size mainly come from time in the gym, uh, slash genetics? So I'll put it this way. The, the routine that I was always about, I think I said this in the other one as well, but it was more about muscle confusion. So there was a consistency um, in just that I kept it dynamic, if that makes sense. So with the same dynamic, because I can't reference to one specific routine that I did, with the same dynamic philosophy going throughout, I tested this uh, a couple of years ago, with the same, actually for you guys' perspective, this way's better, I think. So uh, using the same dynamic philosophy in my routine, going throughout, I spent, you know, a couple months cutting, um, and getting as in like, a, a lower calorie intake, but still maintaining healthy foods. And I, you know, lost weight, got more defined, um, uh, stronger in different ways. And then I tried a couple months just eating a lot, still really healthy food, a lot of, a lot more carbohydrates and brown rice and protein and everything like that. And with the same, again, dynamic philosophy, uh, I gained a lot of size as well. So for me particularly, that could be a combination of genetics and diet, but from my own personal experience, it has been diet primarily that contributes to your size gains. And, and for the most part, strength gains as well. So I would take that into consideration, try and, you know, put forth a lot more effort into, if you haven't already, I don't, um, I'm not sure, but try and put forth a lot more effort into, uh, uh, you know, eating a right amount of the right food. And I do have, uh, not to plug myself again, but I do have a video uh, about uh, bulking that I'll link in the description for you, Chuck. Um, let's see, then there is one other one. Oh yeah, okay, so uh, this, uh, this isn't the last one, but genetic-wise, I would... I would be lying to you if uh, if I told you that I didn't really uh, have a genetic um, upper hand. Um, I do have good genetics, but I don't want that to discourage other people from giving it their all and doing their damnedest to to get what they want and to to train for what they want. I like to believe that um, for me, I've always been well. It took a little bit, but I've been, always been pretty physically confident. Like if I see it's something in the movies. I'm confident that given enough time, I can do that thing or, you know, a YouTube video or anything like that. And I'm a huge believer in the placebo effect, meaning that your mind is one of your strongest tools as well. I think that a lot of people, a lot of the time, uh, just blame their genetics right off the bat. And so like, I can't do this because genetically I wasn't supposed to. Um, I think that that has uh, very little merit as in that there's a tiny bit there, but for the most part, I think that if they change their mindset towards the whole thing, they themselves with more positive thinking, and this could sound like total bullshit to, to everybody watching, but I think that with more positive thinking and more of a, I can do this more of a, I'm not going to let my genetics get in the way or more of an, even believing that your genetics has nothing to do with it. Um, you, people would see a lot more gains in the gym. So, uh, maybe that's a cop out for me, but I, I've always, I firmly believed in that. I believe in that now. Oh, I always will believe in that and it's worked out for me. So, on to the last uh, question. I actually will read this part 
um, specifically. It's just one sentence. Um, having rewatched the video, uh, you say being aesthetically based or aesthetic based is dumb, which I, uh, which logically it is. Yet I would bet my dick that's pretty serious uh, that you clean house with the ladies at all the cosplay events. So, um, it might have been a bit confusing. Maybe I didn't clarify, but. Um, okay, so if you are working out for uh, aesthetics, you will become faster, more aesthetically pleasing, I suppose. But you will have less functionality. What I always try and convey, actually, I probably haven't tried to convey this very much, is that if you're trying hard, if you're putting forth enough effort into uh, one fitness goal or another, if you are you know, dieting properly, if you're doing all these things correctly, whether it be calisthenic, gymnastics, all this thing, all these things, you are going to look good. You are, it's just going to come naturally. To be focused primarily on that is only acquiring one half of something that you can have the whole of. Um, yes, that half will, you will look, you know, overall better if you just focus on aesthetics. But if that's the case, then you're just a narrow fucking piece of shit douchebag. Sorry, excuse my French. Um, uh, anyway, um, so yes, if you try hard, uh, physically, the, the, uh, me nowadays, I promise you the, the Thor pictures, calisthenics, uh, mixed in with working out with the Mjolnir hammer. Um, and then the cosplay before that calisthenics, um, that is, is, <laughs> uh, that was my routine leading up to it. And so it's, it's diet and yes, genetics a little bit. Uh, or a lot of bits. Um, uh, and as for cleaning house with the ladies, I don't really know what that means. Um, I don't... <laughs> like, I don't get hit on or anything like that. I think a lot of people think that, like... There was one question in one of the videos, or no, no not one question, one statement, like, Bro, you look like... What was it? Who was it? Uh, the guy's playing Deadpool. His clone, like, you must bang out, like, two Asian chicks every night. Or two Asian twins every night. Um, not the case, because in person, I am, uh, pretty fucking weird. Um, so, I, I'm just different. I don't, I don't utilize, I, like, I'm not like, Oh, baby cakes, oh, look at these aberoonies, yeah, come this way. And that's exactly why I don't, um, get a lot of ladies, because, <laughs> because I talk that way. So, uh, yeah, a aesthetics are great, but, um, and obviously for cosplaying, Aesthetics are great because I believe that, you know, your body is half of the character. Um, but that's not what uh, I focus on. Uh, and that's not what other people should focus on. Just try hard, and it'll come. You'll look better. Um, so thank you, Chuck Norris. Uh, and remember, Jay Moore, I will answer your question next week. How the hell long is this one? I apologize for taking so long, and oh my god. Oh, no fucking... Okay, god, I thought it said 37 minutes. Um, <laughs> um, Jay Moore wanted me to do more of a concise answer... Which I'm not sure I'm... Ca well, actually, I am capable of. It would just take a little bit more production and time. Anyway, this isn't... Um, uh, well, you know, let's just get this over with. Thank you for the questions. I always appreciate them. Um, if there's anything uh, more specific that you want me to answer, let me know. Uh, keep them coming. And never stop playing video games until fate next brings us together, my assassins.